Okay, uh, in this session, uh, we're going to discuss uh, the relationship between current and charge and then electrons. Now, uh, when you solve these two examples, you'll understand the better relationship between the charge, current, and the electrons. Now, in the first question, it says that a 60 watt incandescent bulb operates at 120 volt. How many electrons and coulombs flow through the bulb in one day? Now here, the time period given is 24 hours. Now this 24 hours, we have to convert this one into the second. Here we have to calculate the number of electrons or the total number of the charge. The Coulomb means charge, right? Now for this one, let's solve uh, in the Microsoft Word. Okay, it says that we have a bulb rating. Power P is given how much? Your power P, <coughs> power P is given 60 watt and then the voltage rating V is 120 volt. Now from here we are asked to determine total number of electrons and total number of charge which is coulomb right now here coulomb okay let's write this curve bracket now to, to, to determine this one we have to first determine the current what's the value of current now for this one we can get it from power and voltage relationship i will be equal to p power divided by voltage which means your i will be 60 watt divided by 120 volt so we have 0 0.5 ampere now we have got the current and then with the current and the given time given like t is equal to 24 hours now if you convert this one into second it's same as 24 times 60 times 60 second which is equal to uh, 86400 second now the number of like a duration is given this many seconds we have to determine the okay first let's determine the coulomb so one coulomb or okay, in other words one ampere is equal to one coulomb per second so with this relationship we can express one coulomb will be equal to one ampere times the second the time so with this we can determine the total charge or total coulomb is equal to the total current we have is five ampere times time eight six four zero zero second okay let's write uh, unit letter which is equal to <clears throat> four three two zero zero ampere second which is which we can also write as coulomb or okay later on you'll get confused of course we have four three two zero zero coulomb now this is how we should calculate the uh, charge the uh, total number of uh, this written here charge not change this eight uh, eight six four point five times eight six four zero zero like we have forty three thousand two hundred second so okay this mini coulomb and then the second uh, uh second task that we have to do is to determine the total number of electrons now to determine the total number of electrons from the relationship we know that one electron is equal to negative of 1.602 
times 10 raised to 10 raised to okay uh, let's directly write raised to negative 19 coulomb which means like here one e one electron is equal to this relationship and then one coulomb will be equal to one divided by so this many so which is equal to six point okay how much uh i think it's uh, okay let's divide this one uh, one divided by 1.602 raised to 10 raised to minus 19 okay is uh, 6.24 times 10 raised to 18 plus 18 electrons now that many electrons now here okay here it's negative here now to determine the total number of the uh, electrons in the given uh, quotient here one electron is equal to negative of 1.62 times 10 raised minus 19 coulomb now this negative is to determine like to indicate it's an electron now if it is proton then we will have plus here since we are talking about the electrons we are writing a negative now one electron is equal to minus 1.602 times 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb now from here we can determine the one coulomb in one coulomb how many number of electrons that we have how much 6.24 times 10 raised to 18 electrons now we have got the total charge or the total coulomb in the given question is 43200 coulomb so total coulomb okay let's say total coulomb or the total electron it's total electron we are finding for electron total electron is equal to 43200 times the 6.24 times 10 raised to 18 so we have 10 raised to 18 which means you will have okay times 43200 is 2.7 uh, 2 times cb 10 to 23 electrons so this is how we should be solving in the question it says that the bulb the incandescent bulb rating is 60 watt and it's operating at voltage level of 120 volt now from there it was operating for the 24 hours okay let's also write operation hour it is uh, 24 hours from there this is these are the given uh, data that we have these are the given data that we have so from there we have to determine the total number of electrons and total number of the charge or the coulomb the unit of charge is coulomb right now in order to determine the electrons and the charge we have to first determine the current once you get the current then you can determine the total number of electrons and the, the total number of charge now how to determine the current we can simply use this power formula p is equal to vi from here you get current is equal to 0 0.5 ampere now t is given in hours so we have to convert this, this into the second because from here you can understand that one ampere is equal to one coulomb per second which means uh, we have to convert the hour into the second so one coulomb in one ampere we have one by one coulomb by one coulomb per second okay this many ampere and then we have to determine the coulomb so one coulomb will be one ampere times second 
So we are simply deriving uh, the Coulomb from here, this formula. And then after this, we are determining the total charge, which is in Coulomb, 0 0.5 times the total time. Is this many seconds. And we got this many ampere second or this many Coulomb. So the another formula, another unit for Coulomb is ampere second, okay? It's ampere second or you can simply write as a Coulomb. And then, okay, now we achieved the first task to determine the total number of charge or total number of Coulomb. And once you get the total number of charge, then you can determine the total electrons present during that time or this is given by one electron is equal to uh, negative of 1.062 times 10 to minus 19 coulomb and then one coulomb will be equal to okay this this is not coulomb i think this is electron so one uh, one coulomb will be equal to one by six one point this many electron which is equal to this so total electrons is given by the coulomb times okay this figure you get this many electrons i hope uh, you got the point uh, there's nothing new that i'm implementing here i'm just using this formula okay let's highlight this one and then again this formula here i'm highlighting this and then another formula is here okay yeah this is the one this conversions okay i'm using this with this we get the total number of electrons and total number of charge and then also remember we have to convert the time or hours into the second we have to convert hours into the second so that's it about the calculation and then let's look into the another uh, example, another question for this one. Here, yeah, now again, the same uh, same question here we have. A lightning bolt strikes an airplane with 40 kilo ampere for this many duration, 1.7 millisecond. How many coulombs of charge are deposit, deposited on the plane? Now, <clears throat> In this question, uh, we are asked to determine the total charge deposited on the plane with this figure. Okay, we can again uh, solve for this one. Okay, uh, solution for uh, question two. That uh, given figure your current is given it is uh, 40 kilo ampere and then the time t is equal to 0 or uh, 1.7 millisecond which is same as 0 0.0017 second because at the end we have to convert this time unit into the second now the total charge is equal to i times t right okay uh, I, I times t <coughs> which is equal to 40 thousand times 0 0.0017 so you have how much uh, 40 thousand times 0 0.0017 is equal to 68 68 coulomb this many charge is being stored or deposited on the plane. Now from this, if you're asked to determine the total electrons, okay, now I think uh, I can give you the homework for this one, to determine the, the total electrons in question two. So you can try to determine the total electrons in the question two is similar step that the same step that you should follow here just one okay this many this figure times the this coulomb so it's very simple you can try to complete this one okay in question two 
the current is given directly in the first question in the state of current voltage and uh, power is given so here is straight forward and then in case of first question the current is not given directly we are determining the current from the power and the voltage relationship so that's it and then we have also the uh, third uh, question a 1.8 kilowatt electric heater takes 15 minutes to boil a quantity of water if this is done once a day and power costs 10 cents per kilowatt hour or per unit this kilowatt hour we also call as a unit okay this is the energy when you uh, when you are uh, paying for the energy we count it like a kilowatt hour we call it as a unit per unit what is the cost of its uh, operation for 30 days i think this is the step forward you can try to complete it yourself and if you have any uh, doubt let's discuss okay uh, try to complete this by yourself <laughs> 